So as uh, said earlier, we are speaking to the industry players to find out their reactions of uh, today's Congress. With me is the skipper of Mediama SC, Joseph Tete Zuta, um, who is an active player and he is the vice chairman of the vice president of the Professional Footballers Association of Ghana. Uh, so you can see he's a very big man. Now, uh, Joseph, you are a footballer, an active one of course. At the point that the FA is providing boots for clubs, you know, this is unprecedented. It has never happened before. As a footballer, how do you see this particular uh, initiative by the GFA? Yeah, thank you for the I think it comes at the right time and it's a good news to the industry players because uh, some of them struggle so buying books, especially the quality ones, the one that was shown by the president. So I think they will be happy uh, with this news and uh, hopefully this will also help project the image of the league and then uh, it will help them also give good performances. Uh, for their respective teams. Hopefully, uh, this, this is expected. But I think this initiative, as you said earlier on, is unprecedented. And, uh, the guys will be very happy and they welcome to this. There are those who claim that oh, this is something basic, it should have been done long ago. And they don't even see the relevance of it. You have been a footballer. How important is this initiative going to be for the players? I don't know. It, it will be very, it's very important because some of them buy boots uh, uh, on their own. Okay. And when you consider uh, some of them, you consider the amount they, they, they earn from their respective clubs, uh, buying quality boots like this, in fact, it will be a problem for them. So, they will have to rely on other people to help them buy boots for the season. So, as I said earlier, this has come at the right time. It's a very good initiative. I believe the guys, when they hear it, they will be very happy with this very initiative. Now, um, we are still on the footballers because you are the active ones. In fact, you are the key holders of the entire game. Footballs are also going to be provided for the, for the, for the clubs. Seen over the years, footballs have been provided. There have been complaints that the quality of the ball and other stuff. Uh, what's your perspective of that with regards to the balls that have been provided for the clubs? Uh, yeah, uh, last year, I think uh, these are the same balls we used. And uh, I did my research across uh, the country, the clubs, and uh, in fact, we did it. This is uh, uh, to the quality of the box. So I think uh, it's good that we are continuing using this particular uh, 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 As you can see, uh, uh, the quality is good. So uh, it brings good technique for the boys and uh, uh, when they want to guide them to, guide the to you get it. So uh, it's good. And the quantity that you are also getting is also good. I learned in the previous seasons, some class were getting years and uh, along the line they have to buy some from the FA from their own pocket. But uh, this time around, the club is receiving 40 balls and I think 24 for two years and then 24 for four league matches. I think it's good. I think it's good. I think it's good. I think it's good. So you heard from the horse's own mouth with regards to the footballs and the boots that are being provided for the clubs and how beneficial it's going to be for the football players and the clubs as a whole. We continue our review of what happened and we will speak to some other clubs to, to find out their reactions of what happened today at the GFA Congress. Thank you very much.